Shalom, Miss Rael. It's Russell Salomon. You know what I'm saying? Because he reveals all things. You know what I'm saying? So since you want to wonder about these other nations, let me show you something. So we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. I hope y'all ready for this one, right? Because I, I don't know if y'all ready for this. Because you want to talk about all nations, right? What about all the other people of the world? What about them? You the one that came over here in ships. You know what I'm saying? For no reason. Getting through in these seas for shark bait. Getting burned up. Your women getting raped. What about that? You don't care about that no more. You forgot. Because it didn't happen to you. Per se, but it happened to your your forefathers. Your fathers. You know what I'm saying? So the most high Yahweh didn't forget. So we're going to go to Isaiah 40. Since you want to wonder about the other nations. Isaiah 40 verse 17. Right? What do we say? All nations before him are as nothing. Right? All nations before him are as nothing. And they are counting to him less than nothing and vanity. Right? All nations before him are nothing or as nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. Right? So what about them? Right? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he take up the isles as a very little thing. Right? He take up the owls as a very little thing. Right? And that was verse 15. Verse 17, all nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. So this is what he's talking about when you talk about these other nations. Right? But he delivered Israel out of Egypt. Right? And he said, Israel is my firstborn. Right? Then he tell you, you the chosen. Right? He chose you, Israel. Right? He sent Moses unto Pharaoh said, let my people go. Right? Now check this out. We in America. You know America is not built to last forever because it's a wicked place. It's a place of sin. It's the daughter of Babylon. You know? We had, we was slaves in Babylon. You know, the prophet Yahshua was in Babylon slavery, captivity, and he came out the captivity, him and the other elders, and they started to build a temple, but they stopped at the foundation. That's Jeremiah. But they stopped at the foundation. You know? So what that mean? Babylon, America, the virgin daughter of Babylon have laid a heavy yoke upon our ancient, right? And upon us. So with you know, with that, you see that they oppress us. Check this out. Isaiah 52, 4 and 5. Just real quick. Check it out. Isaiah 52, 4 and, 4 and 5, he said, Thus said Yahweh God, he said, My people went down aforetime unto Egypt to sojourn there, and Assyria oppressed them without cause. See? So when we went to Egypt, the Assyria oppressed us without cause. Now therefore, what, what have I here, said Yahweh, that my people is taken away for not they that rule over them make them have. Seth Yahweh, and my name continually every day blaspheme. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that do speak. Behold, it is I, Yahweh, right? 
He say, how beautiful upon the mounts are the feet of him that bring good tidings, that that publish peace and bring good tidings of good and publishes salvation, said, that said unto Zion, thy God reigneth. Yahweh reigneth. But you see that, you know what I'm saying, we went down to Egypt and they oppressed us there. Now we're in America being oppressed. And, and the most high, he delivered us from Egypt, you know, and we didn't leave by chariots, but we walked out of there. Right? So how do you think we should leave America? Is we going to leave by chariots or is we going to walk out of here? Right? Because if we don't walk out of here, we're going to be destroyed with her, right? So, let's see what we must do. All right, we're at Jeremiah chapter 50, and we're going to go to verse uh, 3. And he says, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 3, he say, For out of the north there cometh up a nation against her. So a nation is coming up against her, right? Which shall make her land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They, they shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast, right? So they shall remove, they shall depart, right? So the Most High is telling you to remove yourself, depart yourself, right? And right here, this is when Yahshua and them was in Babylon, right? Captivity. And you got to understand, when we was in Egypt, captivity, we had to remove and depart. So we had to remove and depart. We remove and depart, departing from Babylon. And it's going to keep going all the way to when we're coming out of America. That's going to be the, our, our greatest departure, our greatest exodus, right? But we're going to scripturally do it, right? Check it out. Check it out. We're at Jeremiah 51, right? Jeremiah 51. All right. Five and six, he say, for Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of Yahweh of hosts, though their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Right? Verse he say, flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of Yahweh's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense, right? So it's the time of Yahweh's vengeance again, right? So when it's time for Yahweh, uh, Yahweh's uh, vengeance, what do he say to Israel? He say, flee out of the midst of Babylon, right? So when we're in America, he's going to say, he say, flee out of the midst of the daughter of Babylon, right? Deliver every man his soul, be not cut off in her iniquity. Right? Check it out. All right. We're in uh, the chapter, and we're in Isaiah chapter 53. All right. Uh, we're Isaiah chapter 52. Sorry about that. And we're going to start, we're going to do 10 and 11. Isaiah chapter 52, 10, 11, he say, Yahweh have made bear his holy arm in the hands of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God, Yahweh. He say, depart ye, depart ye, go out from thence, touch no unclean thing, go ye out from the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of Yahweh. See, depart ye, depart ye. Go ye out from thence, right? Touch no unclean thing. See? Check this out. Verse 12, he say, For ye shall not go out with haste, nor by flight. For Yahweh will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your reward. Right? But the Most High, he's telling us, Depart ye, depart ye. You know what I'm saying? Out of the daughter of virgin daughter of Babylon because she is to be destroyed. Right? Check this out. Check this out. Isaiah 
chapter 11, verse 11. He say, matter of fact, yeah, Isaiah 11, chapter 11, he say, and it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall set his hand again the second time. All right, we're back. We had 11, I mean, Isaiah 11, chapter 11, he say, Isaiah 11, chapter 11, verse 11, he say, it shall come to pass in that day. Yahweh shall set his hand again a second time. So you remember the first time we came out of Egypt. So this will be the second time coming out of America. So Yahweh will set his hand again a second time to recover the raiment of his people, which shall be left. See, so a raiment of people of Israel shall be left from Assyria, from Egypt, from Panthros, from Cush, from Elam, from Shinar, from Hamath, and the islands of the sea. See, because America is not going to be here no more. Right? And he shall set up a sign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. That's how you know it's the second time. You know what I'm saying? Well, where, you know what I'm saying? The most high. You know what I'm saying? Shall set his hand again the second time. Check this out. Right? So, the Most High, he said he shall gather, you know what I'm saying, the outcast of Israel. You know what I'm saying? The dispersed out of, from Judah, from the four corners of the earth. So, he going to gather us up, right? But check this out. All right. We're at Isaiah 41. We're going to do chapter 10. Then we're going to do... Uh, no, chap it's chapter 41, verse 10, and uh, chapter 41, verse 14. So ch verse 10, he say, check it out, he say, fear not. He say, fear thou not, for I am with thee. See? So Israel, Yahweh is with thee. He say, be not dismayed, for I am God. I am thy God. See? I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah. I will uphold thee with the right hand of the, of my righteousness. See? So fear not, Israel. Yahweh is with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am Elohim. I am Allah. I am God. See? I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with, my, with thy right hand of my righteousness. See? So fear not, Israel. Check this out. We fear not as we depart out of her. Right? 41.14. He said, Fear not, thou worm Jacob and ye men of Israel, for I will help thee, saith Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. See? So fear not, thy worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, says Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. See? Check this out. He said, Behold, I'll make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mouths and beat them small. Thou shalt make the hills, hills as chaff. See? Thou shalt fan them the wind shall carry them away the whirlwind shall scatter them and they'll, thou shalt rejoice in the in Yahweh and shall glorify in the Holy One of Israel see but he say fear not I'm with thee O Israel see check this out the most high he's gonna set his hand a second time for us to come out of America. And we must not fear. Because we must understand that the most high is bringing us out of America. See what I'm saying? So we must go into the places where he tells us. He say he told us where he's gonna where he gonna set his hand at. And uh and uh he say where he gonna uh gather us from. So 
if if we notice he he's going to gather from these places we should set ourselves to these places right right all right but but uh we got to understand you know what i'm saying the most high he not worried about all these nations it's the ones who uh deceived us and had us forget who we are they came together in one accord right so the nations are counted as nothing right Isaiah 40, 17, all the nations before him is counted as nothing. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity, right? So, you know what I'm saying? They all came again, came together in one accord against the nation of Israel. You right? In Israel, he, we, we forgot who we were. Now the most high is waking us up. Right? So now let's do what the Torah tell us to do. Say, flee, remove thyself. Right? We came over here by ships. So we came over here enslaved. So this is our captivity. Now it's time that the most high is fleeing us from captivity. It's time to go. Right? Check it out. Check it out. Isaiah 47, verse 1, he said, Come down and sit in the dust, O daughter, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of, of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. O da See there? America, the daughter of the Babylon, Babylon, the virgin daughter of Babylon, right? That should no more be called tender and delicate. Right? Alright. So no more should it be called tender and delicate. O, o virgin daughter of Babylon. Says you how you see. So you know the virgin daughter of Babylon is America. You know? That's that's just who he is. Right? Or she is. All right, we're going to go to uh, Isaiah 47 and 5 to show you that the virgin daughter of Babylon is it, it, it's it's the, you know, it's America. Check this out. He say, sit thou silence and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. See? So, the daughter of the Romans say, For thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. See? Thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. Thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. America. Israel, we must flee out of her. Right? And fear not, yet how will it's with us? Right, our Savior, who delivered us out of the land of Le of Egypt. Right, yeah, how it is who delivered us out of the land of Egypt? He went before. He sent Moses before Pharaoh. He say, "Israel is my son, even my firstborn." Right. So, you know what I'm saying? We have to realize. We have to. Come out of the the state of mind we in, because remember in Deuteronomy, you know what I'm saying? We went back into bondage by the way of ships, you know what I'm saying? And that's when we came into this American bondage, you know what I'm saying? So he's he's letting us know, but the name wasn't yet established as America at that time, right? That's why they call it. O virgin daughter of Babylon. Because it was to come. It haven't came yet. It was to come. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the reason, you know what I'm saying, that we following after all these other uh, 
gods will keep going into captivity is because we keep following after these others got other gods. We forgot who we was, you know. Uh, let's go to first Samuel. And uh, let's see. Uh, first. First, we're going to get Jeremiah. We're going to get Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah, let's see, 2 and 11 first. Jeremiah, 2 and 11. All right, he says, Have a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods, but my people have changed their glory, for that which do not profit. See? So, we change thy glory for that which do not profit. We change thy God. Has a nation changed their gods? Which yet, which are yet no gods. See? So, this Christ is not a God. Right? But he's an idol. Alright? Check it out. Uh, Jim, we still in Jeremiah. We're going to hit four and five. Check this out. He say, Hear ye the word of Yahweh, O house of Jacob, and all the families of the house of Israel. Thus said Yahweh, What iniquity have your fathers found in me that they gone far from me and have walked after vanity and become vain. See? Because there's no iniquity in the most high you have. He say, what iniquity have your fathers have found in me? That they gone far from me and have walked after vanity and are become vain. Because the the... The iniquity, the sin is not in the most high you have, but it's in us, right? In our people. All right. Check this out. Uh, we're going to go Jeremiah 31 and verse 1. 31 and 1. I think that's it. It's Jeremiah 31 verse 1. Check this out. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Ju Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my which my covenant they break. Although I was a husband unto them, saith Yahweh. But this shall be a covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts and write in their hearts. And there will be, and will be their God and they shall be my people. See? And they shall, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, no the Lord, for they shall know me, they shall all know me, from the least of them to unto the greatest of them, saith Yahweh, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. Thus says Yahweh, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon of the stars for a light by night, and divide the sea when the waves thereof roar. Yahweh of hosts is his name. Yahweh a host is his name. Yahweh a host is his name. See? So the most high name matter, man. You feel me? Yahweh of hosts is his name. Right? But check this out. Know what I'm saying? We're going to hit 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 1. Right? Check this out, man. 
And it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now the name of his firstborn was Joel, and the name of the second, Abiah. They were judges of Beersheba. And his sons walked not in the way, in his ways, but turned aside after Lucrete and took bribes and perverted judgment. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy ways. Now make us a king to judge over us like all the nations. See that? See? So Israel, you came to Samuel when Yahweh was the judge over you. See? And you said, make us a king to judge over us like all the other nations. And the most I told her, he said, be not like the other nations. Right? Because they don't walk in his Torah, in his ways. So he said, be not like the other nations. So why would you want a king to judge over you like the other nations? Come on, man. Come on now. Check it out. 1 Samuel chapter 8, verse 8. He say, According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other gods, so do they also so do they also unto me. See? So Israel, you you serve other gods, man. You're not serving the God of your father. He said, according to all the works which they have done since the day I brought them out of Egypt, even unto this day. Wherefore, they have forsaken me and served other gods. So do they also unto thee. Now, therefore, hearken unto my voice. How be it? How be it? Yet protest solemnly unto them and show them the manner of the king that they that reign over them. Right? Check this out. Verse 7. And Yah said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me. For I should not reign over them. See there? Because you ask for uh, you ask for a king to judge over you like all the other nations when Yahweh was when Yahweh judged over you. Right? Because Yahweh judged over you. But you wanted another king to judge over you like the nations. Right? So you have not rejected Thee, but you rejected me that I should not reign over you. See there? Because Yahweh reigned over you. Yahweh said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say unto thee, for they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me that I should not reign over them. And you wonder why the Most High is not with you today. Right? Because you did not reject thee, but you rejected me that I should not reign over them. See that? Uh-oh. Now we're getting somewhere. Right? I hope my people are starting to see, man. Because it's clear. Check this out, man. First Samuel, verse 9. Chapter 9, verse 17. Right? First Samuel, chapter 9, verse 17. He say. And when Samuel saw Saul, Yahweh said unto him, Behold, the man whom I spoke to spoke to thee of, this same shall reign over my people. So the most high he, he still chose Saul to reign over his people. Right? But today, Saul nor the children of uh, of Yahweh uh reign over his people, but we, we still have a king that reigned over us like the other nations. But they don't follow after Yahweh today. You know what I'm saying? So we must flee 
from America, man. You know what I'm saying? And to the land the Mohai chose us, cho told us to go. You know what I'm saying? We must follow his direction. You understand? And the Most High, he showed you that this is the daughter, old, old virgin daughter of Babylon. The lady of kingdoms. You know what I'm saying? No more shall she be called the lady of kingdoms. No more shall she be tender and delicate. You know what I'm saying? But Israel flee up out of her, right? The Most High is going to set his hand again a second time and recover the raiment of his people that's left in certain areas. You know what I'm saying? Because be, you got to understand, we turn away from the Most High when we ask for another king to reign over us like the nations. That's why he said, turn back to me, my people. You know what I'm saying? So all the nations where we went into slavery, they oppressed us. You know what I'm saying? With hard bondage and labor, even death in America. Right? But we still a mighty people. Right? So now it's time to flee because our oppress our, our slavery day, our slavery is over with. We're being released. It's time to go. So we must flee. And do not fear because Yahweh is with us. Right? Now check this out. Check it out. Uh, Isaiah 41 and 10. Right? We've been through it once, but we're going to hit it one more time before we end our study. Right? But it's Isaiah 41 and 10. Because we done showed how the Most High done brought us out, out of Egypt. You know? He sent his angel, and his angel spoke from the midst of the burning bush to Moses. You know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how he brought us out of Egypt. Through the hand of Moses, he told Pharaoh. He said, go tell Pharaoh that to let my people go. Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Right? Then we went into all the, we, the most high let us go. The Most High delivered us out of our captivity. Pharaoh let us go. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Isaiah 41 and 10. But we got to realize that the Most High delivered us out of Egypt, man. You know what I'm saying? And out of all our other captivities. You know what I'm saying? Yahshua, the, the high priest, the angel made Yahshua high priest forever. You know what I'm saying? So, but so we got to realize that he's, yes, he's Israel. So yes, he's a son of God, but he's not an angelic being who died on the cross for your sin. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's just not in the Torah, man. You know what I'm saying? Them letters of Paul, which you know Paul was a deceiver and a liar. It's in your New Testament. In your acts. So if you believe in it. You're, you're a crazy Christian. I guess all I can say. But check it out. Isaiah 41. Chapter 41 verse 10. He said fear not. For I am with thee. So fear not Israel. Yahweh is with thee. Be not dismayed. Yahweh thy God. Yahweh thy power. I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yahweh will help thee. Yahweh will strengthen, strengthen thee. Yeah. He said, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. So fear not, Israel. Right? Isaiah 41, 14. What did he say? Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Thus says Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Right? Fear not when you leave and take your departure of out of this place. Fear not. Yahweh is with thee. Right? Yahweh will strengthen thee. Yahweh will help thee. Fear not. 
deliver thyself up out of this virgin daughter of Babylon. He say, flee, remove thyself, my people. Right? Because the days are at hand. Right? Check it out. Isaiah 34 and 8. I said 44, I mean, uh, I said 34 and 8. We're going to start at verse 5. So it's chapter 34, and we're going to read verses 5 through 8. All right? Isaiah 34, verses 5 through 8. He say, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Who is Idumia? That's Edom. He say, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Verse 6 say, The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood. It shall be it is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For Yahweh has sacrificed a Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Adomia, the Edoms, Edomites, right? He say, verse 7, he say, and the unicorns shall come down with them. Oh, unicorns ain't real. Oh, they is. And the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and the dust shall be made fat with fatness. And it is the day of Yahweh's vengeance, and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. See, so it's what you did to the people of Israel. See, because it's Yahweh's vengeance. Right? And the the year of recompense for the controversy of Zion, of Israel, Yahweh's people, see? So we here in the, the the virgin daughter of Babylon in America. Right? Remember the most high he's gonna set his hand a second time to recover the raiment. But you gotta understand that the most high his sword shall be bathed in heaven. He said, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down on Idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of Yahweh is filled with blood and is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the with the fat of the kidneys of rams, for Yahweh have hath a sacrifice in Basra. And a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. See there? Which is the daughter, virgin daughter of Babylon. And with that, you know, we showed a lot tonight, you know. So with that. I hope to say, I hope I hope people got something out this study. You know, I hope you realize that the name of the Most High is very important. You know, uh, he told you his name, so I hope you realize it's important. With that, I like to say, Kal Halala Yahweh Akah Shalawan Israel.